Well, Ben and Jen, this is as close as they are letting us get in terms of showing you an approximate location of where that plane crashed Wednesday, just right down there behind the gates. But the NTSB telling me today they do plan on moving that piece, that plane piece by piece. Two days after the historic B-17 bomber plane crashed, the charred wreckage still sits not far from runway 6. On Friday, NTSB investigators focusing on moving what's left of the plane, now considered evidence to another secure location. An NTSB spokesperson telling me the process could take an entire day. Investigators methodically going through every shred of evidence. The agency releasing close up video of the wreckage Thursday as the state revealed the identities of the victims. Ernest McCauley, he's the pilot. The co pilot, Michael Foster. Andy Barrett, age 36, of South Hadley, Mass. Gary Mazzone was among those dead. He was a retired captain for the Vernon Police Department, also a friend of Commissioner James Rovella. Rovella also commending the efforts of National Guardsman and Simsbury firefighter James Traficanti, who helped some of the passengers escape to safety, and saying the state is always prepared for worst-case scenarios like this one. The state of Connecticut is very well prepared uh, for, um, unfortunately, for an incident for, like this. Um, we train constantly with it. Um, it's, it's, it's in our emergency um, and homeland security package, emergency management. And the NTSB told me they are moving the plane to a secure location, but could not tell me exactly where. I'm live in Windsor Locks, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.